Honor versus Honor, the Magic 5 Pro against the Magic 4 Ultimate. Both of them have very large camera sensors and we want to find out which one is the better one. So let's get started. So in this very very sunny sun setting scenario we want to check out the cameras of the Honor Magic 4 Ultimate versus the Honor Magic 5 Pro. As you can see here both are using the same main almost one inch sized sensor 50 megapixels but the Magic 4 Ultimate has two 64 megapixel sensors for the ultra wide angle and the telezoom the telezoom three and a half times the same as on the magic 5 pro but the magic 5 pro only features 50 megapixels here so a different kind of sensor the same goes for the ultra wide angle the magic 4 ultimate has 64 megapixel ultra wide angle 11 millimeters a bit wider than the 13 millimeters on the uh, magic 5 pro and then on the front we basically have the same kind of pill cutoff with 3d face detection and 12 megapixel sensor there and i think we start off with the front facing video so here we have the Magic 4 Ultimate's uh, front-facing camera and this one has, uh, yeah, it's basically the same one as in the Magic 5 Pro but it has the different magnification zoom options like uh, 0.7 times like we have right now but you can also go to 0.8 times and uh, 1 times if you want to. You can see it's jumping from one lens to another basically. It's just cropping in or cropping out and this is what you can see here right now. And stabilization and HDR I think is pretty okay. You can see some darker clouds there. Sun is shining into my face. If I turn around a little bit you will see that it's a little bit overexposed there because this is on is a smaller sensor here for sure. But stabilization is fine so far. And yeah we have 4k 30 frames per second on a Chinese smartphone. Can you believe it? Yes it's possible. So what do you think about the Honor Magic 4 Ultimate's camera? And now the Honor Magic 5 Pro and yeah we have uh, the, yeah, basically the same front facing camera as you can see here. Also the magnification is uh, 0 0.7 times, you can switch to 0 0.8 times and we can also switch to 1 times and as you can see it's also a bit jumpy. I think it was a little bit smoother before, I'm not sure why it is jumpy right now, it should like zoom out very smoothly but it's jumping for some reason. Uh, anyway, this is uh, the front-facing camera. You can see stabilization, HDR, colors, pretty nice indeed. I think maybe slightly, it was overexposed again. I, I thought first it was slightly better in HDR, but I think it is the same, same, uh, nothing different here. 4K 30 frames per second as well, and as well 15 minutes time limit for recording on the front-facing camera as well as on the back-facing cameras. But let's check out the back-facing cameras. The highlight of the Magic 4 Ultimate was the very large sensor, almost one inch size sensor and unheard of when it came out last year. I think the, only the Xperia device was the, the one that had something very comparable to this one here. So what do you think about the background blur, stabilization and so on? Sun is shining directly into my face. How good is HDR? Let's turn into the sun and I think HDR should work fine here still on this device. Otherwise we are recording here 4K 30 frames per second we can go up to 4k 60 frames per second but i think then the ultra wide angle uh, is not working uh, so 4k 30 frames per second allows me to switch to the ultra wide angle and gladly i also got the software update that allows me to have a button that is like zooming in out and in very smoothly in this case out and of course we have also zoom options so what should we zoom on do we have anything that we can zoom on so maybe we are zooming in on this little tower there so let's go there and there you can see in the back let's go to five times this is the option that allows me to choose here there you can see in this little tower there uh, this little skyscraper that we have there and we can go 10 times here as well and i think this is the maximum yes 10 times so you can see here the sun is shining and reflecting there so we have an um, yeah overexposure there for sure but what do you think about the details here and let's go back to the one-time zoom which looks like this one here so and now i'm recording with the magic 5 pros 10 times zoom does it look better than the magic 4 ultimate i'm not so sure uh, one thing that is different here when i want to zoom out the second zoom option that i have is four times zoom instead of five times like on the magic 4 ultimate 
so it is yeah a little bit less and then we can also go to the one time zoom and i switch now to me here so what do you think about the high dynamic range and uh, what about the stabilization colors and so on 4k 30 frames per seconds 15 minute time limit the same same as on the magic 4 ultimate so nothing much has changed here the same sensor even here as the main sensor so we should get a nice background blur as well as uh, good stabilization and colors and good hdr as well so what do you think about the um, yeah, camera here on the magic 5 pro also the ultra wide angle don't forget about the ultra wide angle 0.6 times so this is the ultra wide angle here it is a little bit yeah narrower not really is it because on video when i was in the video mode i can show you we have here the 0.4 times zoom magnification basically so it is a bit wider and you can get even a bit wider if you want to than this one here so what do you think about uh, the quality here do we see big differences here in terms of videos probably not but what about photos let's check out the photos so we start with the photos on the left always the magic 4 ultimate on the right always the magic 5 pro what do you see here on first glance very very similar same sensor basically there's slight difference i think a little bit of warmer colors on the magic 5 pro and i think a little bit less hdr ish kind of look maybe because it was a split second uh, one photo after another that the sun moved a split second more but it's yeah overexposed here slightly when it comes to detail levels what we can see in the green grass is we have a little bit more definition in the green grass uh, slightly different different processing better processing on the magic 5 pro actually more accurate because we have a bit more shadows capped in here a bit more yeah difference between the contrast is basically higher here difference between the highlights and the shadows a bit more so a bit more defined as well for sure otherwise the detail level is almost on par even towards the edges maybe a slight um, yeah improvement on the magic 5 pro here on this uh, kind of side there but it is very very close when we come to the ultra wide angle you're a bit surprised the magic 4 ultimate on paper has 11 millimeters but when you click the ultra wide angle button it's just defaulting to 16 millimeters which helps tremendously with the detail level if you just compare them one to one here 13 millimeters against 16 millimeters so we have much more information here and there's a bit more details on the magic 4 ultimate but it's not as wide as the especially here in this uh, area as the magic 5 pro but what you can also see here for the ultra wide angle same same uh, kind of thing with the green grass which looks a lot more uh, artificial on the magic 4 ultimate a bit more realistic on the magic 5 pro thanks to the shadows that are kept in here and not lifted so much as on the magic 4 ultimate so definitely better we can also see the contrast difference here in the sky where we have a lot darker kind of clouds and look more dramatic on the magic 5 pro than on the magic 4 ultimate that's trying to even everything out and get rid of shadows when we go on the Magic 4 Ultimate and slide out further after we press the ultra wide angle button, we go to the 11 millimeters and you can see how much, yeah, difference there is now. It's wider on the Magic 4 Ultimate. The whole tree is in here, where here we only have one part of the tree in there. And it is a lot sharper as well, which is very interesting here on the Magic 4 Ultimate that seems to have a sharper lens. Uh, at 11 millimeters when it comes to the detail level however especially here you can clearly see that the towers here uh, or chimneys are a lot sharper a lot more detailed on the magic 5 pro than on the magic 4 ultimate it might be a little bit over sharpened for sure but that's the difference uh, green grass difference is still there but it's not so much of a difference as we saw before as well as here the clouds and the definition of the clouds and the darkness there is still there a little bit more on the magic 5 pro i think it's doing a little bit overdoing it with over sharpening stuff but still uh, very impressive and i have to say i like the magic 4, uh, 5 pro here in this situation where with the 60 millimeters this is a clear win for the magic 4 ultimate now let's go to the zoom shots and let's take a look at the zoom shots here we can see a little bit of a darker kind of exposure on the magic 4 ultimate and we see a bit of different kind of field of view even though both have three three and a half times zoom but the magic 4 ultimate has um, 64 megapixels that are pixel bin to 
16 megapixels and the Magic 5 Pro has uh, 50 megapixels that's pixel bin to 12 megapixels. So we have a big difference here in terms of yeah, angle of view is well, not angle of view, maybe like the, the zoom level basically. When it comes to the detail level, you can see a bit darker here, a bit more details here to see because it's just like the exposure a bit higher here. You can see what's going on in the shadows. I think you can see the wood here has almost the same kind of detail, but you would give it maybe to the Magic 4 Ultimate because you can see here the E, the B, it has some stripes there of the wood breaking down, which is not seen here at all. Maybe there slightly on uh, the bottom of the E there. Uh, when it comes to other things here, processing and so on, let's go down here to the lamp. A lot better on the Magic 4 Ultimate, as it seems. You can see the structure of the wall, which is like completely gone. It's smoothened out there, just like a little bit here around the lamp. You can see it has the structure still. But when it comes to the detail levels here uh, in the reflection, you can see it looks, appears to be a lot sharper on the Magic 5 Pro. So they definitely using a different algorithm here, especially here, as you can see here, for example, this kind of shot and compare it with this one. You can see a lot sharper on the Magic 5 Pro, even though I think it is artificial sharpening up things here. It looks a bit more uh, realistic here on the Magic 5 Pro for sure. Now let's go into the 10 times zoom range and you can see the same kind of difference in terms of shadow details and so on, but a difference in terms of like what is sharper because sharper here is the Magic 5 Pro. Though it is artificial sharpening, you can see like how much blooming there's going on. There's a bit of blooming going on here on the Magic 4 Ultimate as well, but it's in general a softer image. But we have again a little bit more details here uh, that are just smudged out on the Magic 5 Pro because the Magic 5 Pro is using a little bit more aggressive algorithm here to smoothen out and make the uh, text a little bit sharper there. And so we have a bit more detail level on the Magic 4 Ultimate. Uh, but when it comes to then 50 times zoom, you can see clearly the difference a lot softer here on the Magic 4 Ultimate. Still relatively sharp on the Magic 5 Pro. If I zoom in 100%, you can see how much, yeah, how much difference this makes, this, this artificial sharpening and, and algorithm that is like optimizing text here. Uh, it's it's a big difference. Yeah, it's a big difference. And I think the Magic 5 Pro is taking the win here, even though the detail levels, you can see where the uh, Magic 4 is coming from, is a bit higher there for sure, thanks to the higher megapixel count. Uh, but in general, you don't see much of a difference when you're photographing kids, when you're photographing uh, animals like this bird, for example, that was standing here um, near the river. And you can see here the detail level at 10 times zoom. It's the same. There's a slightly brighter exposure on the Magic 5 Pro, but the colors is almost the same. There's not much of a difference, not much of more details that you can see here, even in the foreground, the stones or something like this. I don't see much of a difference there, to be honest. And most of the time you don't see the difference in daylight shots. When it comes to sunset and HDR, we can see the Magic 5 Pro tends towards more warmer kind of colors. Uh, that it lets in here. I think the HDR is a bit better here now on the Magic 5 Pro, where it's overblown on the Magic 4 Ultimate for sure. When you take a look at the foreground here, that should be sharp. I think also the Magic 5 Pro is nailing it a little bit better here than the Magic 4 Ultimate. The white balance is a bit better on the warmer color of the Magic 5 Pro, more pleasing to the eye for sure. So I think the Magic 5 Pro did the better job here. When it comes to macro photography, we have this like um, both utilizing the ultra wide angle, but we have like the issue, of course, with the Magic 4 Ultimate. It's an 11 millimeter actually that they have there, and then cropping in, doing some magic to yeah, optimize it a bit. You can see it is looking very yeah, pleasing to the eye with the background blur there and the darker black brown blur, which helps popping out the flower a bit more, where the Magic 5 Pro doesn't have this so much, but the sharpness difference is already very visible because we have like the 14 millimeters that it actually has here uh, on the Magic 14, is it 13 millimeters? It is saying 27 millimeters. <laughs> actually, it is using the, here it says 26 millimeters. Yeah, it is, it is using the ultra wide angle, I think, for this macro shot, both are in super macro mode anyway. And we have a bit more sharpness there for sure on the Magic 5 Pro and less sharpness here on the Magic 4 Ultimate, as you can see here. So I would give the win to the Magic 5 Pro in terms of um, the macro shots there. 
When it comes to selfie shots, you can see immediately I'm popping out a little bit more on the Magic 5 Pro, where I look a bit boring on the Magic 4 Ultimate. This has something to do with the more contrasty kind of look, darker hair color, darker eyebrows, that is much brighter here on the Magic 5 Pro. You can see, by the way, the cutouts are differently, so they're using a bit of a different algorithm to detect my face. And I think the Magic 5 Pro is doing a slight better job here with my hair, where this is like blurring it out here, it's keeping it in. It's not perfect, not perfect at all, but a bit better on the Magic 5 Pro. Then the rest here you can see it's a bit smoothening out here on the Magic 4 Ultimate where the Magic 5 Pro keeps it a little bit more real I would say. Also here we have a bit more shadows on the Magic 4 Ultimate where they are lifted up here on the Magic 5 Pro so it's maybe doing a little bit more beautification on the Magic 5 Pro. I'm popping out a little bit more on the Magic 5 Pro for sure. Color difference I don't notice so much of a difference here and I think detail level is almost on par maybe slightly bit sharper on the Magic 5 Pro's front facing camera. What do you think? And then when it comes to the three and a half millimeter, three and a half times zoom, not millimeter, which is 90 millimeter actually, um, it can focus a little bit closer on the Magic 5 Pro. It's not macro capabilities yet, not fully macro capabilities, I would say. So I think you can get still a little bit closer kind of shot with the ultra wide angle, but you get more details definitely with the three and a half millimeter. So here I try to focus on something very close. You can see it's very blurry. Everything's very blurry. There's not really anything really sharp here in this shot, which is yeah, slight bummer here, I would say. On the Magic 5 Pro, I tried also to have this sharp. It didn't really work out, but this is very sharp here, which is like slightly a bit more in the, fo in, in the foreground. So it managed to focus on something and it's a bit sharper there. You can see you can also utilize in, in emergency situations like kind of telezoom. It's a kind of telezoom. It's not far away from the Xiaomi 13. Uh, pros telezoom here i would say but um, it is doing a nice job three and a half times normal shot daylight sunset going on still in the background you can see better algorithms again in terms of uh, yeah detail retrieval uh, we can see here the text a bit more readable uh, less overblown highlights i think there slightly as well um, and we have the rail look at the rail here a lot more details there Look at the bridge there in the background, a lot more details. Look at the houses, a lot sharper on the Magic 5 Pro, even though it's artificial sharpening for sure. You can see that, yeah, I think the Magic 4 Ultimate is losing a little bit against the Magic 5 Pro that using, that's using a superior algorithm. But when I go to the sides here, for example, and look at this tower there and compare it with this one, we have a bit more details definitely on the Magic 4 Ultimate still because it has like the 64 megapixels and we have a 16 um, megapixel image there. Uh, when it comes to AI and algorithms, you can see also a clear difference here in automatically detecting the scene. This is taken basically at the same time and the Magic 4 Ultimate detected a sunset or sunrise where the Magic 5 Pro detected blue sky. So this explains also the difference in terms of white balance, but here everything gets like this bluish kind of darker kind of look. The Magic 4 Ultimate is boosting everything up, making everything a little bit looking a little warmer. Uh, the Magic 4 Ultimate in this case is wrong because this is the scene how I saw it with my naked eye on the Magic 5 Pro actually. And uh, yeah, I was just wanted to shoot to see what the AI is doing and you can see Yes, the AI is lifting the shadows a lot, making everything a bit warmer on the Magic 4 Ultimate for sure. So there is a difference, though they changed and tweaked the AI a little bit or the automatic scene detection, which works a little bit better on the Magic 5 Pro, I would say. Zoom uh, lens at night or at darker conditions, the Magic 5 uh, Pro is losing against the Magic 4 Ultimate, even with its better algorithm, you can see how much noise there is. And uh, the Magic 4 Ultimate just has everything smoothened out. So we have a little bit more noise kept into the Magic 5 Pro, where here it is smoothing out more noise. It looks a bit cleaner on the Magic 4 Ultimate still, because we have more megapixels probably, but it is looking also very artificially sharpened up, where here on the Magic 5 Pro we don't have this completely sharpened up uh, kind of look and feel. So what is your poison? Choose your poison. I think um, more towards the Magic 4 Ultimate in this case. Uh, main lens, not much of a difference, but also kind of it is doing the same as with the um, zoom lens. We have a bit more noise kept in, which allows us to have preserve a little bit more details, where here everything is smudged out with the flowers in the foreground. The Magic 5 Pro keeps the details as yeah, despite having a little bit more noise, so it doesn't care about putting uh, or is not fearing putting a bit more noise in there in the shot just for the shot to be a bit 
yeah uh, better there white balance this is white yes this is white like it looks like on the magic 5 pro it's not so much yellow as it looking like on the magic 4 ultimate we can see this white is a bit more yellowish than it should be and the same goes especially around this area where here it's like almost completely yellow and here yeah it's slightly yeah, getting yellow there so when it comes to neon light photography night photography main camera sensor not much of a difference a bit more better algorithm i think on the magic 5 pro still where we have a, a bit more outline here where this is a bit more overblown um, differences are negligible there's a bit more detail there here's a bit more detail here in comparison to there uh, very comparable selfies again the same kind of play we have uh, or game that we had with you with the earlier uh, daylight selfies you can see a lot more smooth and skin color uh, differences uh, less contrasty kind of look here we have some highlights because the screen was actually lifting up to help the selfie cam a little bit here with this shot so it's not evening out everything is not removing so much of my yeah uh, yeah uneven skin basically but look at the bokeh it's like bokeh balls very delicious maybe a bit sharpened up here on the magic 4 ultimate a bit more blurry on the magic 5 pro uh, by the way it's not aurora borealis or something like this i'm not at the north pole it's just i don't know what it the sun was setting still there was a bit of light going on and something else and the uh the phones both did this magic when it comes to this kind of shot we can see the better superiority in terms of uh, yeah again shooting with a little bit more noise that you allow in and not smoothing things up too much and sharpening things up too much just try to read what is written there on the kz zvx box or the kz ling long box is even more clearer you can see how much artifacts we have here of sharpening things up or trying to improve stuff especially down here almost unreadable where here it is readable for sure and the same goes then down here kz defi by the way if you didn't watch the video that i did about those iems very i can very much recommend them uh, here both not very readable but a lot more natural on the magic 5 pro where here we have lots and lots of artifacts the same goes here for the xiaomi buds 4 look how much cleaner it looks like on the magic 5 pro so they definitely improved they up their game in the night photography what is your favorite uh phone in terms of cameras here i'm leaning towards the magic 5 pro right down in the comment section what do you think so we have a night time right now uh the sun set already you can see a little bit there still in the background of the sun uh, that set just now uh, so it's getting a bit dark i'm using this super night mode in video mode on the magic 5 pro what do you think about this one here i think it is pretty cool isn't it and we will switch to the magic 4 ultimate for comparison right now and i will conclude my camera comparison with the magic 4 ultimate one thing that i forgot to mention is if you enable super night mode for video just like i did here on the honor magic 4 ultimate it is scaling down or is basically switching down to 1080p recording nevertheless you get a very clean picture i think and it's much brighter on screen especially on the magic 5 pro than in reality so what do you think about this quality to conclude i see improvements on the magic 5 pro so the three and a half times zoom lens is definitely improved 10 times i wouldn't say so much we have a better software algorithm here but it looks very artificial on the magic 5 pro still and yeah you have to choose which one you like a bit better when it comes to the ultra wide angle the magic 5 pro is sacrificing the ultra wide angle for a bit better macro shots because it's cropping in during macro on the ultra wide angle and this gives you a little bit sharper shots because we don't have such an ultra wide angle there so what do you think about this one when it comes to the main camera sensor we have the same same basically the same as with the front facing camera we have slightly better color signs on the a kind of color that we have there on the magic 5 pro and the colors on the facing looks also a lot better what do you think comment section that's everything hope you enjoyed it thanks for watching and bye